so this is a little demonstration on how to make this uh, template. If you don't have a printer at home, then you can't just download my template and print it. So I'm um, gonna give you some guidance on how to make this yourself. This will be a little extra work, but it's worth it. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get, I've got a piece of pink paper behind my printer paper. Get a piece of paper and the idea is that we want four squares this way. Let me bring it over. We want four squares this way and three squares this way that are all the same size. And these are two and a quarter inches. All right, so follow my step-by-step -step instructions. You'll have no trouble. I'm gonna put the ruler at the edge of my white paper and I'm gonna come over to three and mark it. And then I'm gonna come over two and a quarter. So from here, one, two, and a quarter. Now I'm gonna move my ruler down the paper. I'm gonna line it up at the edge again. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna mark it at three and mark it at two and a quarter. Now, if I connect these together with a line, I'm well on my way. There's one. Line it up carefully before you mark it. And notice I'm widening my finger and forefinger and thumb to support the ruler so it doesn't shift. If you hold it up here, the pencil could force it to shift. Okay. So now I need to come up. I've gone all the way to the edge of the paper. This does not, right? So now let's see. I'm gonna come up an inch. Let's come up one inch. from the edge of the paper. I'm gonna cut up one inch. All right, that brings me to here. And let's see what the tabs, let's see what their width is. So we're gonna make those also a quarter of an inch. So I'm gonna come up a quarter of an inch. That's for my tab. And now it gets easier because I'm gonna line up there and I'm just gonna come up two and a quarter. Remember, they're two and a quarter boxes, right? And then I'm gonna move my ruler up again. It's hard to figure the two and a quarter, so it's easier just to start at the end each time. And just know that you're going to two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. One, two, three, I need four boxes. So I'm gonna make another mark two and a quarter. All right, then I need, I don't notice I don't need a tab at the end, right? I don't need a tab there. Okay, so I wanna be sure that I draw these straight and not crooked. So I am going to, just as a guide, so that I get it straight, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing over on the edge of my paper here. I'm gonna come up one inch. Whoop. <laughs> Be sure you start at the same end. Look, I was starting at the other end. I want these to all line up. One inch and then a quarter. And then I'm gonna line up my ruler and go two and a quarter and line up my ruler at the edge and go two and a quarter and line it up again, two and a quarter. And that gives me one, two, three. I, got, I need one more box, two and a quarter. This is my little mistake from before. There we go. Now, now I can close up these. Let's start at the same end, right? Let's start where we started before. Now watch this. This is gonna help me line up straight, but I'm only gonna make them line in here. Because that's the area that I'm going to use as a template. There we go. So I'm using this other measurement that I made to be sure that I have perfectly perpendicular straight lines but I'm not drawing all the way across the paper, right? I'm just kind of make the template like it looks on the original that I showed you. And there 
and here. All right. I'm in good shape. There is, there I have my four boxes. So let's put this in front here, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So there we go, right? There's the tab. So I'm just going to draw two little lines here. And that shows me what my tab is. And if you really want to get fancy and make it look just like the template, you can start erasing what you don't need. Might help you, right? Looks like I need tabs here and a tab here. And I need a tab here and a tab here. And then I'll use my ruler. Look, I can I can hit both tabs with one measurement. La 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 and la la la. I'm gonna do that over here as well. Now I'm I'm right-handed, so this is awkward. So I'm gonna turn the paper. That's a skill that students often don't realize. Set yourself up to be the most comfortable you can be as you work. All right, I'm really close to having this template. Look how similar it looks. I just need two more boxes on either side here, right? Okay, so I'm gonna come out two and a quarter, and I'm gonna come out two and a quarter. Mark that off, good. And then, let me turn this so that we can see what's happening here. All right, I've got lots of marks on my paper now. That can be confusing. Um, I need to make sure those are in a straight line. And so we've already learned that the way to do that, let's see, is to, I'm, gonna, I'm going to put another set of lines. inch. Okay, now by making two of these, I know that this is straight. And by lining up these two, I know that this is straight. Okay, now I can just line up with that original line there. And now I've got my three boxes across. And I think I'll still need tabs, but those I can do easily. Yes, I just need these two tabs and I will have exactly what's on this printed paper. And remember, those are easy. You're only gonna come up like a quarter inch. Put your little angles on there. I'm gonna turn this around so I can work on the proper side where I'm comfortable with the ruler and the pencil. Don't cross over, it's very difficult. All right, and voila. And then again, if you would like, you can take away some of these extra lines. There aren't many. There are a few, but there aren't many. And then you have, let's line them up and see if they're identical. And yes, they are. And you are ready for the name box project.